Hello guys and welcome here to the Hitachi Truck Series race number 22 here today from the Talladega Super Speedway. I'm Brian here in the booth with you. Starting from the pole will be Nick Blair in the number 34 and to his outside will be the number 42 of Derek Shelmerdine. As we get going of course today we kick off the round of eight which of course means we only have three more races till the championship four at Ricky Raceway. And, of course, this is the kickoff to it. I imagine a lot of guys going to be sweating bullets in this round because this is not an easy round, to say the least. Of course, what I'm talking about is we have this race here today at Talladega. We then go to Martinsville. Or, I'm sorry, then we go to Watkins Glen for the next race, a road course that could shake everything up. Then, of course, you add in that Martinsville is the race after that. So, again, a lot can be shaken up here as we get ready to set the field for the championship four. Of course, racing to try to make the championship four. We got Jackie Smith, Justin Jason, Zachary O'Reilly, the winless Hans Dubois, who is your regular season champion. Um, Quentin Moore, Tim Randolph, Derek Shelmerdine, and Alexander Rowe are all the eight drivers that will be competing today to try to punch their ticket into the championship four. Who will it be today? Will any of them punch their ticket in? We're going to find out in just a moment. Let's roll the intro when we come back. The green flag here from Talladega in just a moment. go we are ready to go racing here at Talladega of course the last two super speedways have been kind of uneventful will will it be the same here today or will we see the big one keep in mind of course the uh, lift national series wrapped up a few hours ago over at um, Oklahoma, over in Oklahoma at progressive could we see the same here as Nick Blair, Derek Shelmerdine, green flag waves were underway at Talladega. Nick Blair gets out to the early lead. Here comes the 15. Ana Gonzalez, keep in mind, she was, I believe, knocked out in the last round, and she was. So, of course, she is not competing for the win or the championship here. Neither is Nick Blair. Max Anderson also back there trying to make some moves. As to the line, Ana Gonzalez will lead the opening lap. Again, last two super speedways have been uneventful here in the Hitachi Truck Series. Will, again, that's why we question, will it be the same here today? Of course, the Lyft National Series did have the big one earlier today over at Progressive Super Speedway in Oklahoma. Again, some of these guys are a little jet-lagged coming over from Tulsa. 
I imagine Pretty Shaw is, but it's not showing yet because Pretty Shaw is battling for the lead. So is Max Anderson. But at least these guys will get a nice little break because they will race, some of them will race tomorrow in the Jello Cup race here. Of course, we're in the middle of the round of 12 over on the Jello Cup side. And of course, um, keep in mind, as mentioned, the next three races, we got Watkins Glen. So we got a little bit of a break here on the truck side for about a couple weeks. While these guys go to Texas, while the Lyft National and Shell Cup go to Texas in the Roval. But these guys will return to racing at Watkins Glen, then we'll go to Martinsville. And then, of course, we'll wrap up the season at Ricky Raceway. So only a few races left. Of course, we will also have uh, 7-Eleven IndyCar Series very soon. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled to this channel. I will have an announcement soon. I promise you that. I just haven't gotten around to making it yet. Of course, I was sick all last week. And this week, I'm actually just starting to feel better. So now a little bit of time to get some stuff done, hopefully. As Dan Hummel will go to the race lead. Here comes Austin Shots 3x3 three three all through the field. Not like the truck race earlier this season at Daytona, which saw essentially the 1 and the 24 dominate the race. Here comes 21 Roberto Crown. Look at this. Oh, they're pinching each other. They got a wreck. And just like that, the big one has struck, and I think... This one makes up for the fact that we haven't had a big one here ever. Do we have another wreck? Or did it just separate the field that much? I think it did. Let's head back up front. The battle for the lead is on. <clears throat> And Austin Shaw will lead him back to the caution. Let's go get a replay, see what happened. Alexander Rowe, Karen James, you saw them battling four wide here with Quentin Moore. And Dan Hull, oh, Quentin Moore just gets tagged, and look at all these guys up on the top lane there. I think Quentin Moore's, oh man, he might be okay after all that, but Alexander Rowe just brought up into this pack and look at them just scattering everywhere you see that top line and Dino Gittero spun around no actually maybe the 56 might be in trouble so a few playoff contenders dragged into this one Zachary O'Reilly as well tough break for our championship contenders the big one the first time here in the truck series at Talladega we've had a big one Let's take you back to the green. Getting ready for the restart here. Alexander Rowe, Ana Gonzalez done for the day. Two teammates out of the race. That's a tough break. Anyway, it'll be Austin Shaw, Roberto Crown Jr., Dick Clark, Scott Upton, Derek Shelmerdine. Then it'll be Willa Ruby Crouch, Jackie Smith, Amy Summers, Paul Penny, and Steve Johnson. That is your top ten. Austin Shaw's been on a tear lately, but he is not in the Truck Series playoffs. We'll see what he can do here on this restart. As the green flag waves were back underway at Talladega. Here goes Roberto Crown Jr. trying to get the lead back. And he will do so. So Roberto Crown Jr. to the race lead. Here comes Dick Clark now. Here comes the 42 with the double zero. 
Maybe, the, I don't know why these two playoff guys are working together on the inside here, but maybe they're thinking, oh, let's work together now and then we'll battle it out to determine who makes the championship four after this. Or later on. And you see there the 42 to the lead, but here comes the double zero. Again, championship four implications for those two out in front. They could punch their ticket to Ricky here today. And not worry about what happens at Watkins Glen or Martinsville. <clears throat> Steve Johnson to the lead. How's about Justin Jason trying to go for the sweep at Daytona and Talladega? But again, actually he's another one with a win that could put his could punch his ticket into the championship four. It should be a no-brainer that this 24 is a favorite right now. Especially if we he does make the championship four because he did win in dominating fashion at Daytona earlier this season. It was way too convincing. Dylan Young now to the lead. More lead changes today than we saw here last season, I believe. And more than we saw here or at Daytona earlier this season. So you know it's competitive now. And how's about Tim Randolph starting to come into the picture? Keep in mind, Tim Randolph enters this round tied for that sixth seed with Derek Shelmerdine and Alexander Rowe. Win by either of them could move that cut line. Ranbit Core up there too, one who missed the playoffs after the double points race at Rockingham. He'll look to try to make up for that fact. Of course, we got nine to go here at Talladega. Keep an eye on that 45 as well, Hans Dubois. Again, the regular season champion, he has not won a race this season. But boy, if he could get his first win of his career and first win of the season, wouldn't it be something if it was here at Talladega to put him in the championship four? Will a Ruby Crouch now to the lead? Briefly, Dylan Young takes it back. Here comes Paul Penny with help from Hans Dubois. Now Hans Dubois looking for the lead. Lap traffic ahead. Put up Fitzwater's face. It's a lap traffic moment presented by Fitzwater's angriness. Oh nine in the seven. Now you see that inside lane getting the run. Dylan Young with the huge lead. It'll get eaten up pretty quick. And you see right there, they're all up to speed. They're 10 miles an hour quicker than Dylan Young is. Six to go. Battle for the lead here. Mm. 
Another lap truck here. Caution's out, they'll avoid it. Oh, the wreck! Hans Dubois, the two of Dylan Young, a wreck across the start finish line. And it looks like Dylan Young's day is going to be over after that. Not the way Dylan Young wanted to finish this race. Let's go see what happened to bring out the caution here at Talladega. We talked about Championship 4 implications entering here today. I could assure you there's going to be one angry driver after this, and it's going to be Derek Shelmerdine here. He just straight up got dumped by the 97. Came right across, or front bumper crosses over the back one. And actually, Tim Randolph gets his part in it too, so it wasn't just a clean getaway. But man, Derek Shelmerdine going to be pretty upset with that 97, I imagine. After all that. And then let's fast forward, actually, and take a look at what happened to Dylan Young. So, of course, you see here he's battling for the lead. And Sanders just beats him to the line. So then look at this. It looks like the 44, he's trying to find room to go around. Oh, he hit his own teammate. This is the most Nice Motorsports thing to happen in a truck race. Dexter Black just wrecked his own teammate who is battling for a championship. And Hans Dubois, his day might be done and so might Dylan Young's. That's just unbelievable turn of events here with five to go. We'll take you back to the green in just a moment. Here we go. We're going to get the restart here. Three laps of racing to go and we go back green. It'll be Michael Sanders, Austin Shaw, Scott Upton, Roberto Crown Jr., LJ Toledo, your top five. Then you've got the 26 Amy Summers in sixth, Karen James seventh, Mohamed Zain Abdullah in eighth, um, Eric Faden in ninth, Quentin Moore in tenth, and Quentin Moore, keep in mind, he is the highest running playoff driver right now. As the green flag waves will get back underway here at Talladega. Jackie Smith also back there, keep that in mind. As you see the battle for the lead, here goes Austin Shaw. Two of the Chevys going to work together. Austin Shaw, he's been on a hot streak lately, looking to continue it. But it's going to be three wide for the lead. Amy Summers forcing the issue, two to go. Saw so there the 21 led that lap over his teammate. Keep an eye on that double zero. Keep an eye on the 24. Justin Jason up in this battle as well. Keep in mind, those two championship implications, I can't stress that enough. Same for the 42 who's in this pack. Almost four wide there. They'll back out of it. Here comes the 17 and the 24. Jackie Smith pushed to the high side. Steve Johnson looking for the lead. As we go through the tri-oval, coming to the white flag this time, one lap of racing to go, presented by Mitchell's Memes. Steve Johnson leading. Justin Jason was second, but here comes Daniel Gittero.
And Steve Johnson looking for the big upset here at Talladega. Come down the track to block. Out of turn four. Can he hang on? He's going to go down the block. Here comes the 41. It won't matter. Steve Johnson wins at Talladega. Congratulations to the 17. They get the win. And take one away from these playoff drivers. How's about that? A good run by Derek Schalmerdine after getting tied up in an incident earlier with the 97 of Tim Randolph. And at the end of the day, Derek Schalmerdine gets the last laugh. But of course, this is only the beginning of the round of eight. We'll be back, of course, in a few weeks when the Truck Series takes on Watkins Glen. Of course, a little time off. That doesn't hurt anybody, and it'll give the 42 and the 97 a chance to talk things out. But anyway, we want to thank you for watching. We're going to show your results and your standings, and we'll see you back here in just a few weeks when the Hitachi Truck Series takes on the Watkins Glen International Raceway. Until then, goodbye everyone.